Well, well, well. It appears that it's finally happened. Xbox made the biggest equation, and they now own one of the biggest game franchises in the world. It is now the end game for PlayStation fanboys. And I couldn't be even happy. I couldn't be happier because, you know, I decided why not rub more salt into the wound and just talk about how pathetic PlayStation fanboys truly are. Even before the big Microsoft slash Activision equation. Imagine paying $500 for a console and then bragging about its exclusives. Imagine being that pathetic. You know, besides the exclusives, what is it that you PlayStation fanboys have that's so great anyways? I don't think I need to know, because there is nothing to know. There's nothing to ask about it, because we already know the truth. The PS5 is a console that is as useless and as generic as they come. The PS5 has absolutely no benefits from the actual console. And that's what a console should have. A console should have... Benefits from the actual console and exclusive games as well. Exclusive games that are actually good. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, controversial opinion coming in, but I am not into PlayStation exclusives. Okay, I like horror games, okay? I am a huge fan of horror games and zombie games, okay? That's just the genre that I'm in. So, PlayStation exclusives do not appeal to me. And they don't appeal to a lot of other people as well. So when PlayStation fanboys start running around and hyping up their games and making them sign to some of the best games ever made, yes, to them they are, and to a couple of others, but to people like me and people who are just not fans of those genres that PlayStation exclusives are in, yeah, <laughs> they're not really the best games to those people. And that's, a, and that's what makes humans unique, okay? As humans, we all have things that we like. We all have our preferences, and we all have types of games that we enjoy. Games, movies, etc. But to PlayStation fanboys, that's just not the case. To a PlayStation fanboy, everyone loves their exclusives. Everyone wants to play their exclusives. When in reality, not only is that the furthest from the truth, but that's actually a really pathetic thing to assume. The fact that PlayStation fanboys think that their exclusives are so great that everyone is going to want to play them is just simply pathetic. And you know, back to the whole console thing, the PS5 has absolutely no benefits at all, like to the actual console. Let, let's look at the Nintendo Switch, for example, okay? Nintendo Switch has a benefit that comes from the Nintendo Switch itself. It has an actual console benefit. So when you buy a Switch, not only are you getting Nintendo's exclusives, but you're also getting a benefit from the console. And, you know, obviously, that's the portability, along with high-quality ports of really good games like Doom and, you know, others like Dying Light, right? You get an Xbox Series X, and you get Quick Resume, backwards compatibility, along with Xbox Game Pass. You buy a PS5, and all you get... What do you get? Exclusives. <laughs> Imagine paying $500 for a console that has absolutely no benefits, but then bragging about overpriced exclusives. <laughs> you fucking Sony clowns are a bunch of fucking idiots. Like, seriously, ima imagine you go out, you pay $500 for a console that has nothing when you compare it to its uh, competitor, but then you brag about the exclusives that are not only overpriced, but are also overhyped. Bragging about a console's exclusives when the console itself has absolutely no benefits is the most sad, pathetic thing I have ever seen in my entire life. You Sony fanboys can't even, like, if you if you could get this lower, if, if you get lower than this, I'm on, I, I honestly feel bad for you. Right now, you guys are just annoying fucking clowns, but god damn, are you this fucking delusional? You know, like I was saying, I understand that PlayStation exclusives are popular and a lot of people like them, but some don't. And PlayStation fanboys, you know, using their, ex like, that one thing, using that one thing as the only thing to defend their console is just, like, it's not a really good thing to back up on. I mean, using just one thing to defend your console is not the best thing. At least Xbox and Nintendo Switch along with PC have things that are actually good about the actual platforms themselves. I mean, at least Xbox has better features along with better things going for it. You've got quick resume, you've got amazing backwards compatibility, and you know another thing, 
Xbox has backwards compatibility, so does PS5. So you may be thinking, well, you know, like, PS5 has backwards compatibility too, so you're just an Xbox fanboy. No, because Xbox has backwards compatibility, compatibility, we all know it's better than PlayStation, okay? PS5 can only play PS4 games. And in order to, like, you could play some PS3 games, but not actually via backwards compatibility. You have to sign up to the shitty PlayStation Now service just to play a couple of PS3 games, which are not even that good. I think, like, Arkham Origins and Mortal Kombat 2011 are the only games that are on there that are actually good. You know, the only PS3 games that are on there that are actually good. So, like... You can't even play PS3 games on there, or PS2 games. At least Xbox can play 360 games as well as original Xbox games. And Microsoft keeps adding more and more games to that list. Not only can Series X play every Xbox One game ever, but it can also play all original Xbox games and almost all 360 games. And you know, play, like, the thing that pisses me off is Sony had such a good opportunity to make the PS5 better. I wanted PS5 to be better. Once upon a time, I used to be a PlayStation fanboy myself, and I was kind of hoping that PlayStation would do better this year, or, you know, this generation, but no. And they had so many opportunities, so many great games from the PS2 era along with the PS3 era, and they could have made the PS5 such a great console. But no, no. Sony, in their cheap-ass ways... Done the cliche thing, the thing that I was expecting them to do. No, of course the PS5 can only play PS4 games. That's the only backwards compatible thing about it. It can't play PS3 or PS2 games, and even the PS3 games that can play, it's not even via backwards compatibility. You have to sign up to PlayStation Now, which is the shittiest subscription I have ever seen. And it is absolute garbage compared to Game Pass. And you fucking ponies know it. But that's the other thing. PlayStation fanboys cannot accept reality. Because the reality of it is just too much for them. I think PlayStation fanboys have actually created their own little world. And in that world, they see exactly what they want to see. Everyone hates Xbox. Everyone loves PlayStation and their exclusives. Everyone is kissing Sony's feet and sucking their dick. That's why they're so delusional. That's why they act so delusional. That's why it seems like they're not even living in actual reality. That's why they still think that Xbox is trash, even though it clearly isn't. You know, I, I keep saying that PlayStation fanboys are only roasting and fucking with Xbox players, but now I hear that they're even fucking with Nintendo players. They say that only children play with Nintendo products, only children play with Nintendo Switch. Okay, if that was the case, then why is it that one of the most violent games of all time is now on Nintendo Switch? Doom and Doom Eternal are now on the Switch, including a bunch of other violent games, like Mortal Kombat and Outlast 2. These games are extremely violent and have lots of mature subject matter. So PlayStation fanboy saying that Nintendo is for kids is, again, one of the stupidest things I've ever heard from these people. And that's just one of the stupidest things I've heard from these people. You know, like, you PlayStation fanboys, you're so delusional. Like, I, I mean, I'm just making uh, an assumption here, a theory, like, like, are you guys actually in your own little world? I mean, have you gotten that desperate that you actually created your own little reality because you just can't accept ours? Why can't you just accept your L and just say to yourself, okay, I made myself look like a fucking clown. Hey, at least I still love my favorite platform. And you know, why can't you just be like that? Like, you love your platform. We love our platform. We could all be friends at the end. But why do you gotta be so competitive? Why do you gotta stick to one console by not only limiting yourself to that one console, but then trash talking the other for absolutely no reason? And another thing, PlayStation fanboys will say the typical thing, you know, Xbox is trash, or Xbox has got no games, you know, this and that. But the thing is, PlayStation fanboys have no valid criticism of Xbox. You know, they'll say the typical thing, they'll say like, you know, Xbox Game Pass is not that good. Or Xbox exclusives are not that good. They'll make fun of Halo or Forza. But when you actually ask them, they'll have no valid criticism. If I asked the PlayStation fanboy why he thinks that Game Pass is not that good, he probably wouldn't be able to give me a good answer or a good valid criticism. Because that's the thing. PlayStation fanboys are talking out of their ass. They fuck with Xbox just for the sake of fucking with Xbox. They call Xbox trash just for the sake of it. I mean, it's the same thing with Nintendo fanboys. Nintendo fanboys will defend Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch for all of eternity. Without, like, they blindly defend Nintendo. And you know what? I now realize it's the same thing with, so with Sony ponies. I mean, Sony could shit out a game right now and Sony ponies will be the first to say it's one of the best games of all time because that it's like, 
it's like that's all they say about their exclusives. They're the best games of all time and shit. But here's the thing. Like I was saying earlier, everyone is different and everyone has their own favorite types of games and their own favorite genres. So Sony Ponies using just exclusives as a thing to defend their console and stuff and just brag about it is not really that good because like for someone like me who's not into PlayStation exclusives, I don't see your exclusives as yeah, anything interesting. So when you go and say that there's some of the best games of all time and when you say that this alone is the reason why PlayStation is better than Xbox, I just look at you and think, wow, this man... It, this is a fucking clown who must have escaped from the circus or something. There must be a nearby circus nearby. And that's where this fucking clown came from. Because I don't care for your exclusive. So when you go and start bragging about your exclusive, like, uh, at least we got exclusives. We got The Last of Us and Uncharted and God of War. These games are so good. Like, I, I don't care. I don't give a shit about your exclusives, and so does a lot of other people. If you motherfuckers honestly think that I'm the only one who doesn't like your exclusives, then that's just gonna make you even stupider looking, because there are a lot of other people who also don't really care about your exclusives. I mean, I'm not saying I hate them, they're good games, but they're only good for the people who like them. So when you Sony phone, Sony ponies go and start saying that they're the best games of all time, and everyone loves them, and they're so popular, yes, they're popular, but there's a difference between a game being popular and actually having people who actually love the game and like the game not everyone is going to want your exclusives so when you sony pony start saying that this is the only reason why playstation is better than xbox you're pathetic i mean because like like i have a question serious question like you know no more jokes no more of that shit what is it seriously what is it about ps5 that makes it better than xbox what is it what is it besides the exclusive that you fucking ponies have i don't see it the ps5 has absolutely no benefits or no good features whatsoever at least switch has its portability and of course they can play nes games you know for like the old school gamers and xbox has its game pass its quick resume and its better backwards compatibility but what the fuck does ps5 have like, what is it about PS5 that makes it such a great console, or just a better console than Xbox? I'm not saying it's a terrible console, it is generic, but the thing I love about Xbox is at least it has benefits to the actual console, okay? I could give shit about exclusives, and you do realize that half of the games that you will be playing on these consoles are not even going to be exclusive, right? 80% of the games that you will be playing on these consoles are not even exclusive, so... Fucking ponies bragging about just these overhyped exclusives is just pathetic. And like, listen, even PC has better benefits. Every platform, listen, do you guys see where I'm going with this? Every platform has benefits to the actual platform besides just the games that are exclusive to it. Okay? Using exclusives as a way to brag and as an excuse to trash talk the other platform is so pathetic. And also, the hypocrisy. If you people think your exclusives are so good and that everyone loves them, then why did you get so pissed off when they came to PC? Don't you want everyone to experience them? Don't you want everyone to play them? Because if your exclusives are so good and they're such amazing games, like, shouldn't everyone get a chance to play them? It's like, I, I don't... The hypocrisy is off the charts with you people. And of course, like like I said, PlayStation fanboys simply have no valid criticism of Xbox. They could trash talk Xbox all they want, but at the end of the day, they're still wrong. I mean, I'm trying to, I, I'm really trying to put myself in these people's situation. I'm really trying to understand, and I'm really trying to understand what goes through their sick fucking skulls, but I, 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 I just can't. The only thing I can come up with is that these people simply do not live in our reality. It's like I said, they've created their own little world where they see what they want to see. These fanboys live in their own little world where everyone sucks Sony's dick just like they do. They don't live in our actual reality. That's why they're so delusional. That's why they can't accept facts and reality itself. Because they simply don't live in reality. And you know, that's... That's so sad. I, I, I don't understand you people. Imagine... Like, you know, listen. I know I'm, I'm, not, I know I'm trash-talking PlayStation fanboys here. But you know, Xbox fanboys ain't any better. Okay? Xbox fanboys... Yes, I personally like Game Pass. But... Not everyone is going to like it. You know, everyone. not everyone's going to want it. It's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. Just like not everyone wants PlayStation exclusives, 
not everyone is going to want Xbox Game Pass. Imagine fucking limiting yourself to only one platform and then starting trouble with the other just because of it. So competitive for no reason. So pathetic. Like, I don't understand you people. But yeah, I mean, just... Like, I feel like PlayStation families are just more pathetic because, like, you know, at least Xbox families got something good that they're defending because Game Pass is genuinely good and it's such a great value. And I feel like Game Pass does a better job at actually pleasing the people who get it. I mean, at the end of the day, PlayStation exclusives are still just video games. They're still just games. And everyone likes their own games and not everyone is going to like other games. And it's the same thing with PlayStation exclusives. I mean, you people, you play, like, you fucking ponies. You must think that everyone is going to want to play your exclusives, but they don't. They really, really don't. So you can't really use that as an excuse to call Xbox trash, and you can't really use that as an actual benefit of the console, because like I said, these exclusives are only good for the people who actually want them and enjoy them. But like, you know, bragging, like imagine bragging about PlayStation exclusives to someone who doesn't even fucking like them. It's so pathetic. <sighs> I know I kind of went on a rant here. I tried not to, but man, you PlayStation families, you PlayStation families are just so sad. You guys are fucking clowns, and you are, you're just too scared to admit it. Basically, like, I think I understand it. Everything Xbox does, bad. Everything PlayStation does, good. Because, like, here's, like, here's something. When Xbox does something good, whatever it is, PlayStation fanboys will criticize it without any valid criticisms. Like, how do you do that? How do you criticize something without any valid criticisms? Because when people ask you why you're criticizing this thing, you're just not going to have a good answer, and it's just going to make you look like a dumbass. Because PlayStation fanboys are dumbasses. And, you know, I respect the good PlayStation fanboys, you know, the ones who enjoy their platform, they enjoy their exclusives, but they don't go on fucking Reddit or YouTube or, or just make stupid videos trash-talking Xbox without any good criticism. And, you know, I am not an Xbox fanboy myself. I like all platforms. And, you know, I mean, even if you do want to see me as an Xbox fanboy, at least I'm better than the other Xbox fanboys because other Xbox fanboys are just like PlayStation fanboys. They'll call PlayStation trash without actually giving valid criticisms. At least I'm actually giving valid criticisms on why I don't like PlayStation and PlayStation in, in, in general. I mean... I don't hate the PS5, but it's just so generic in my personal opinion, and I feel like that is a decent criticism because you have to admit, PS5 just doesn't have a lot going for it. There's just not a lot of things going for it. I mean, not only like, not only is it the stuff I mentioned on Xbox, but at least we got a web browser as well. I have a fucking web browser on Xbox Series X. I can literally surf the internet on my console. C can you PlayStation fanboys do that? No, because Sony was too cheap to actually implement that into their console. I mean, I heard that there actually is a way to access a web browser on PlayStation, but why can't they? Why can't they just give it a fucking app? Why can't they just make it normal, like it, like they did on Xbox? But yeah, I mean, you PlayStation fanboys, I understand you'll never accept reality. You're either too salty, too delusional, or too stupid. And you can go on my comment section and then you can make all the shitty little salty tears you want because I can already taste them. I can legit already taste your salty tears, and it's really starting to hurt my throat. So you know, just please, just fuck off. Just fuck the hell off. If you want to sit in my comment section, make yourself look like a dumbass, be my guest. Because I know that the people who actually have a brain or actual brain cells will see that you people are just pathetic. Just sad, pathetic losers. And I also want to give a shout out to a very, very memorable PlayStation fanboy just called Michael. Like, that's all he's called. Michael, his name. So generic. Just like PlayStation itself. And like, he just, he's been going around everywhere, literally trash talking every video related to Xbox. And saying the same thing over and over again. He, just, he, he says the same comment over and over again. You'll see for yourself. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, also, if you Xbox fanboys thought that you were going to escape my criticisms for you as well, then you're just as stupid as the PlayStation fanboys. I have a video coming about why Xbox fanboys are also entitled as well. But, like, you guys are not as bad as the fucking Sony Ponies. We all know Sony Ponies are not only sad, delusional fucking hypocrites, but they're also just a nuisance as well. Just like the PC players. You know, the fucking PC Master Race guys, where they think spending $60,000 on a PC actually makes them cool or something. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make this type of content. I enjoy making my reviews. I don't like making this content because I consider it destructive and just kind of toxic myself. But you PlayStation families are just pathetic, and I feel like someone has to put you in your place. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And again, for the good PlayStation fanboys out there, the ones who actually enjoy their console, just enjoy their exclusives, but don't actually make themselves look like a fucking idiot by criticizing the other console for absolutely no reason, I respect you guys. I love you guys because 
the, like we need more people like you guys because these are what I would consider true gamers. The ones who enjoy their console and enjoy the little benefits without using those little benefits as just a poor excuse to criticize the other console. But yeah, all you fucking salty delusional PlayStation fanboys, fuck all you guys. You can continue to suck Sony's dick for as long as you can, and just because you think I'm stupid for not wanting to do the same thing, I don't care. Just fuck you guys. I would rather suck Microsoft's dick or Nintendo's dick, because at least they're actually giving me better stuff. You know, they're offering me better stuff than anything PlayStation can. So anyways, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. This was Mr. Rage 22 signing off. Bye-bye, guys, and have a good one. Peace.